Hey everyone, welcome back to my Scratch tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at creating a custom sprite, importing it into Scratch and making it walk across the screen. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and let's get this started. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video if you like it to follow along with this series. I'm going to continue on making different applications within Scratch. This is more of a beginning level series right now to start out with. So if you have any questions or have any ideas for future videos concerning this or any other type of programming, let me know and we can get on getting some of those tutorials created. So, but let's jump into this today. Let's get logged into Scratch here. If you remember from last time, if not, I will link the link in the description again. And again, I encourage you to create a login for Scratch so you can save your programs so you're not losing them. Um, again, that can be viewed in the first video. I will link that as well if you have not watched lesson one. So let's go ahead and get creating a new program. If you remember, the sprites show up here in the bottom left screen. Your default sprite is Scratchy the cat here. And what we want to do is make our own sprite to go onto this, um, to go onto this program. So the first thing we can actually do, we can pull Scratchy off here if we want to leave him. You actually right click on him down here and delete and we can completely get rid of him. So what I did prior to starting this, I took four photos of a little Lego character that I'm going to use today. In no way is it perfect, but this is its demonstration of how you can create your own custom sprites. There's a couple things you can do. I'm using uh, photos that I took. You can always manually draw your sprites as well with these toolbars here. You can paint a new sprite, etc. Choose from a custom uh, library. But today, I'm going to jump over here to Photoshop. Now, you can use any photoing, editing software you want. But I'm going to run through the process here real fast so you get an idea how to do this. So in Photoshop here, you see I have my four images. You got my first image of the, the character facing you, uh, a walking image, another walking image, and then we also have just kind of another pose. So this is going to be my main sprite, and these three are going to be my costumes for my sprite. Now the first important thing when you're doing it the way I'm doing it here is we have to get this image in the right format to look correctly in, in Scratch. We need this image to have a transparent background so it stands on top of our background. We don't want this outer edge to be showing up. So there's a couple steps in Photoshop. This may differ depending on what you're using. But first and foremost, you want to double click on this background here. And make sure the color is set to none and hit OK. It's going to change your layer. It's going to have it named whatever you want. Now the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick the quick selection tool. If you hold down the left mouse button, you're going to have a couple options here depending on what version you're on. So we're going to select the quick selection tool and we're going to just slowly outline this character and you can see it start grabbing to the edges. There we go. So with the character selected, you can see a couple other spots in here that then grab. You want to make sure you get this character completely filled in. Uh, this helmet's out a little bit there. We'll grab that there. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then the next step, you're going to want to right click and click on feather. You're going to feather, want to feather this to two or three pixels approximately gives a little giveaway there and then you're going to want to right click and invert or select inverse this is going to actually select the outer layers here now here is when we're going to just hit the delete button you can now see it made the transparent background it's important to note if I didn't do this first step this would end up being just a white background or whatever background you have set so make sure we need you understand that we need to have this transparent now the next thing you can do is take your crop tool and cut this down a little bit so it's just surrounding your character so you don't have all this extra space around him. Get it close, it doesn't have to be perfect. And there we go. So once we're done with that, we can go ahead and export this as a PNG file. This will preserve the transparency in the image so when we import it into Scratch it will stay transparent so here you go I must write folder here we'll go just name this main sprite save it back in my folder here 
And then we're gonna repeat this process for all the other ones. I'll speed up through this so you don't have to sit here and watch me do all these, but it will give you a quick uh, rundown on how I do all these. Okay, now that we have gotten all our images ready, we're going to jump back over to Scratch here. And we're going to go down to the Sprite window down here, and we're going to click on the Upload Sprite from File. Once you click on it, you're going to want to select your Sprite, wherever your Sprite's located, and we're going to select that main Sprite that we created. Now, we can see our Sprite has been created. You can see this sky is a little big, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to go with it. Um, this is where you can resize your sprites to make this feel a little better. Um, now, what we're going to do next, we're going to go under costumes of the sprite. Once you're in here, you can actually do some editing, um, add text and change colors and whatnot. You can play around with that. But we're just going to stick right here. Now you guys see a list of the sprites here for the costumes. So now we're going to want to upload those other costumes that we created. So you're going to select the upload costume from file, select costume 1, it's imported, select costume 2, imported, and then we're going to select the costume 3. So now we have our three costumes. Now you can see the idea clicking through here real fast. Walk, 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 walk. So we want to make them walk across the screen. But how do we actually use these sprites in our program? So we're going to jump back over scripts here. So the first thing we're going to do you're going to jump over here to looks under script and under looks you're going to see switch costume next costume or switch backdrop change color etc so what we're going to do since we want him to walk we there's a couple different ways we can do it we can use a switch costume or we can do next costume so what i'm going to do right now we're going to say just switch costume for now and we'll go on one for costume one we we'll want one for costume two. And we we'll want one for costume three. And if we click through this, you're going to see it's not doing anything. And it's not doing anything because it's automatically going to this third costume. If I take that off, you're going to see it. Switch to that one, that one, that one. Okay. So that's why you're not seeing it do anything as far as it doesn't look like it. So now what we're going to have to do, I'm going to actually add another one for the main sprite costume. Now you're going to see something there. I, I didn't actually do this on purpose, but it's a good example. And you see when I run this once, it changes the sprite down here to match the last costume it changed to. So there's a couple of things we can do here. At the end, if you want to go back to the main, you need to put the main sprite down there. So, it does that. The other option is if you come over to the costume tab and you click the costume, whatever one you pick over here, it's going to set as this main sprite over here. And just something to remember as you're working through this if you have to troubleshoot it. So now that we've got that whole concept down, we're going to add motion to our, our sprite here. So we're going to do a glide. We're going to want him to start here, glide to here. So we're going to move a glide over. So what happens when we actually do that? You can see all it does is glide him over. It's not switching costume. Well, so what's it do when, when we do this? So when we double click this, it's going to slide over there. And you can see it did not change costumes as he was sliding over there. It just did the slide and then did the costume changes. So now we got to take this a step farther. We're going to move this little guy back over here. Switch him back to his main sprite. And we're going to have to slowly walk him over. So let's take this little guy, right click, delete him. Let's move him a little bit. Just a little bit. So we're going to glide him. Now we're going to switch. To that costume. Let's slide on more. Pull a slide. Switch to costume two. Pull a little more. This is where it's a little different. 
Because we want that walking feel. We need to go back and add another costume in here. After we add that slide in there. And switching back to costume one. And then we're going to move them a little bit more. Add another glide. So then we're going to go back. Pour another look over here. Switch to costume two. Go back over here. Move a little more. Glide them over here. And then we will finish him with the costume three. So now let's pull him back over here. Set his sprite back to what the main sprite here. And we're going to run it and see what happens. So now you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. Now, it doesn't look perfect, I know, but that's not what I'm going for. I want to get the concept of how we're taking these sprites, grading the different costumes, and making motion more than gliding like we did in lesson one. So it's giving a feel, he's moving, he's walking, he's turning. Now as you add more points and stuff and get more meticulous with the number of points you get, it's going to give that smoother feel to it. It's kind of like stop motion if you've ever done that, where you take a picture, you move a guy, take a picture, move a guy. This is the same concept. For a second time, I'm not making it that smooth. So go ahead and play with this, but hopefully you get the concept of how to import your own sprites. You can take pictures of sprites. You can, like I said, you can go in here and you actually paint a sprite um, with these tools. You make boxes, animate, you can use stamps. So go ahead and play with all this stuff. See there, I'm changing that sprite, see. You can do a lot of stuff with this, but I hopefully this helped get you the main concept of what I was trying to accomplish is importing a sprite. These are all pictures I took on my cell phone. I took over my phone, I took into Photoshop, did couple minutes of editing and was able to make a new sprite with four total costumes with a walking feel to it so hopefully you like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button so you can follow along with this tutorial like i said make sure you send in your comments send in any ideas or things you would like to see in the future and get on scratch and start practicing see what you can come up with and i'll see you next time